hello there in this video i'm going to talk about the raid disk okay and let me explain it to you what the raid disk means firstly if you are going to use sql server as you can see it stands for redundant array of independent disk it means they are all independent and they are redundant for redundant use okay let's go and use it for the let me explain it to you. There are few types of rates, but I will explain it to you rate 0, rate 1 and rate 10 as well as there is a rate 5 that is not used much, but I will explain it to you with the rate 0 and rate 1 and rate 10. So, what happens is in the rate 1, you know, you have a multiple redundant disk and what is happening is that when you are writing a data, the data is getting stripped. What does it mean by getting stripped? It means that the data is getting divided and written to the multiple disk. So, for example, if you are seeing this thing, your data, uh, you can, if you are writing a data, it will write from A to B, B to C, C to D, and again it will come back here to the E, and again it goes back writing here, and so on, and so on, and it will keep on continuing writing it till the end and again it will come back to the same place and you can see it's going to write this way I already drawn the arrow and you can see that it keeps on going from here to here and till here and what happens is basically is dividing your data and writing it on the different set of disk so what happens is it gains speed in writing so, the data is written much faster compared to the data getting written on a single disk. Uh, partitioning your hard disk would not make your data write faster. You may be thinking, okay, I have a partition disk, so I will have a, the data may get write written faster because there is only one head that is reading and writing on the same hard disk. It is only can write on one place. So, you need multiple hard disk to there can be two types of the hard disk. One is can be local in your server and the other can be, you know, the RAID. This is the basically RAID. That's because it is nowadays it is inexpensive and so many people can afford it. So this can be used and this is being used in many of the places. So this is the was RAID one. People would argue that you can we can use the, it for the temp DB, but however if you are using going to use it for the temp DB what will happen is that many of the sorting and indexing part takes, pla takes place on the temp dv and because this is not creating a copy of your data though it's writing much faster so you do not have anything to look for in the case of this failure so this is if in this case if this fails it will not provide you with the security of the data However, the speed you have gained, but no security. Let's go to the other read. Now, uh, again, let's read it. Redundant array of independent disk. In this read one, you can see that there is two mirroring taking place. What happens is the let's say the data is here, 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 and here, and here, here, here. First, it is getting written here in these places. Okay, the data may get written here, but naturally, when it is getting written here, it is getting mirrored. This is the mirror. Okay, and in this case, this is a mirror. So, what's happening is that you are mirroring your data from one disk to this. This is what the rate does. So, what happens is that it will give you a very high security in the case anything fails. This one fails. So, automatically this will work and so you will not have a problem, okay, and this can work. So, what is happening is that you are getting a mirrored copy, but naturally when you are getting a mirrored copy means you, in the case of the, the failure of one side, you can continue working with your data as if nothing has happened. So, this is what the database, but the, what the problem is that you will have 50% you will be having 50% of because every other disk used in this thing is being used for the mirroring. So this is the best option but however there is one more option 
that is the red 10 red 10 actually combines the 1 plus 0 1 plus 0 so what happens is basically is combining the 1 plus 0 option and if you see what is doing is at one place the mirroring is taking place and other place the mirror what's happening is the data is getting mirrored here as you can see from this point to this point at the same time the mirror is also getting stripped what happens is that it is also creating a step post copy means that the data is getting written much faster as you can see it is getting written faster and faster and faster and it will go on writing so this data here which is getting mirrored okay here this is a mirror copy and the same data is getting here and then it is getting stripped and the data the same data is getting stripped from here to here and the data that is getting here is getting mirrored here then it is going this data is getting here and getting stripped to the two disk and the data here is getting mirrored here and it's going to the this thing and getting stepped to the two disk and so on so this is this option provides the best option you can have the only problem is this is very expensive that's it i think so you have understood very uh, in a very simple way what the read redundant array array of the independent disk means and how they are there is one more that's rate 5 that is very rarely used and it's not a good idea to use them so i have not covered it in this video thank you very much for watching bye bye